Academy. In this video, we're going to be performing synthetic division um, using this polynomial divided by x minus h. So I'm going to begin by taking the divisor and I'm going to set it equal to zero. So we're going to have x equals h. And I do that because I need to put the h on the outside here as the divisor. Then I'm going to take the coefficients of x and I'm going to write them in order as the power of x's decrease. So meaning the first x uh, coefficient I'll use is the one that's in front of the x to the fourth. Then I'm going to use the 18 minus h that's in front of x to the third. Then I'll do the negative 18h that's in front of x to the second. Then negative 3h to the second that's in front of x. And then finally, the h to the third. I know it gets confusing because the x is the variable here, and yet we're using an h as a coefficient, but that is how we handle that. So now we begin the synthetic division process by bringing down the 1. So, and we multiply. So h times 1 is h. Now we add 18 minus h plus h gives us 18. Now we multiply. H times 18 gives us 18H. Now we add, ooh, negative 18H plus 18H gives me zero. Now we multiply, H times zero, zero. Now we add negative 3H to the second plus zero gives me negative 3H to the second. Now we multiply, H times negative 3H to the second is negative 3H to the third, and we add. So 1h to the third plus negative 3h to the third gives me negative 2h to the third. All right, and I've done my synthetic division now. So when I write my quotient, I know that I began with an x to the fourth, and my quotient must have a degree one less than that. So I'm going to begin with this 1, making it 1x to the third. Remember, 1 power less, plus 18x to the second plus 0x minus 3h to the second. This is my quotient. You can write the 0x if you want, but you do not have to. I put it there for my example, just so you know that I didn't like skip something there. So this is my quotient, and this negative 2h to the third, that's my remainder. That's why I put the box around it. So my remainder here is the negative 2h to the third. Woo, that was a really good example of when we had the x as the variable, but the h was playing into the coefficient. So I hope this helps you. Bye for now.